Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to an episode of Fishing with me, D Ying. I'm actually here at Rock River Bait Box. We're actually going to visit one of my buddies real quick and pick up some minnows and get the update of what's biting. So I know it's kind of dark, but just chill, right? Hold on. Let's see, he's here. Oh. Who's hey, that good guy? Good morning, D. How you doing, man? What's up, Ryan? How you doing? How's it going, man? Not bad. Not Whoa, bad. Cool. Hey, Brian. So I haven't fished a like 4x in area here. Can you like hook me up? I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're gonna talk to Brian real quick. He's gonna hook us up with like what to do, what not to do, and let's do a little walk around. So far, I'd say like usual, most of the most of the guys here, as you can tell, have been hitting the hair jig and uh, and fly wall pretty hard. Um, I got two guys tying feverishly uh eight ten hours a day trying to keep up with the uh the amount of uh, uh hair jigs and flies that have been that have been just flying out of here um, so red and black red and black on those darker days the the overcast days have been pretty hot but, uh, we got our daiwa rods we have the uh the uh the all new kage which uh which has been uh which has been a hot seller for me um, I had it. Uh, I had it up there at the uh, Madison Expo for the first time, and uh, it's a fantastic walleye rod. Has the sensitivity and feel of uh, no other rod that I've really kind of had in my hand. Um, it's it, they're amazing. So, and uh, of course you can't uh, get out there either without uh, the bee, the bee fishing moxie, the ringworms, or the pulsars. Mm -hmm. um, either one has been working good. I've been selling all out of the uh, the three inch uh, moxies. And uh, the two, the two four five, and the three three two five uh, pulsars. Uh, Kalen Plastics, of course, were were Kalen's retail outlet store. Um, so uh, you know the, the twister tails out there. A lot of guys are using the three, four, and five inch grubs. Uh, just again, you know, it depends on what you're comfortable with and, and what you're you're used to using. Uh, I have a great That's selection of the key tech. Nice. Yes. So uh, in the Easy Shiners, three and four inch, and uh, and the Swing Impacts, three and four inch. Um, there again, any of those colors. I mean, they're all they're all working. That's cool. I did not see this at all. Uh oh. <laughs> all right. So uh, of course uh, you can't go wrong right now with. Uh, in fact, let me see if I can I can scoop up a bunch of these fatty fatty toughy fat heads here. Uh, you can't get much better than that right there. That is the fantastic walleye minnow. They are they are big. They're hardy. They live forever. In fact, most of the time I got guys coming in from the weekend before saying, you know, just top me off. My minnows are still alive from last week. What I had left. All right, getting getting the camera a little wet yep. here. They are some lively minnows, as you can see oh, here. Those are nice. There are some some really nice blacktail chubs in there yep. and uh, it's nothing like throwing one of those down on just a bare hook uh, either underneath the boat or if you're off ashore you know you can just throw a set line out there and let one of these soak just floating around swimming around out there the walleyes go crazy over these all right so now that we've seen just about uh, everything that's out there catching walleyes right now I just want to remind everybody that so right now we have the spring run up okay and all these fish are going to their spots to go spawn but some of the best fishing is yet to come um, we probably got about maybe a week left of, uh, of the say the pre-spawn and then uh, the post spawn hits and, uh, and all those fish that came up those thousands and tens of thousands of fish that went up to their spots are gonna come back down the river and uh, and go back out into the lake so just because if you've missed this run up you know, don't be discouraged. Get out here and, and, and try that post run because they are hungry after they spawn. Lots of opportunities to get out here and catch some really nice walleyes. And I'm just looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing everybody at the shop. Um, I really appreciate all your business. And let's hope that this coronavirus disappears and everyone stays safe and we can get back to our normal lives. So we just made it out to the river. Again, I'm with my brother, John. And we're fishing the Fort Eckeson area of the Rock River. So I'm glad I stopped by Rock River Bait Box to get some information because I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I kind of feel bad because I don't know how to fish this yet. And I did just pick up a new rod from Rock River Bait Box, which is the Daiwa Kage. The tag is still on there. All right, Brian hooked me up, so I got my Stratic on there, 8-pound braid, some flies, and dude, right off the bat, 
feels amazing. It's a 7.6 by the way. So I'm gonna be able to bomb this thing a mile. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you guys out on the water. All right guys, so we're in action. My brother John. Man, I'm excited because it's been a forever since I fished that guy. You guys see my old videos. We've been smacking it back in the day. So we're gonna be doing that soon. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, let's see what this long rod is all about. Let's see here. First cast. Oh my gosh. I really got to adjust to this. All right. Not that much effort. This thing went wild. Oh, I can feel the bottom. Nice. So I know it's shallow over there. Trying to find the perfect drop. Once you figure out that drop, it's game on. Let me cast a little closer. Just a little bit, halfway. There he goes. Trying to find this pool. John, you got one. Yeah, I knew it. And it's a little guy. I was right. <laughs> First saw guy of the day. Ow, jeez. All right, look at that thing. The green and red. Yeah. So, all right. So they're a little closer to the shore. Let's see, buddy. Just got a little further. Right there. John, I got a big one. I got a big one. Oh, dude, I got That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. That is a big fish. Oh, jeez. It's a big fish, bro. Oh, jeez. What is this? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh. oh, that's a big fish. Oh, gosh. That's a big fish right there. <laughs> Dude, it's a bigger dude. Oh, it's a giant wall. Bro, it's a giant. It's a giant. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Bro, it's a giant. Bro. Hey, John. Let's go. Dude. Let's go, dude. I was right. I was freaking right. I knew they were there. Let me get the DSLR real quick. Guys, let me chill out real quick. I just caught a freaking tank. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at this. I'm shaking. Yo, let's go. That's good for the river. It's a male too. Look at that on the purple fly. Look at that fish. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that fish. Beautiful fish. Oh, probably like a, I'm gonna bump it. Probably like a 19 incher right there. Wow, let's go. I just freaking knew it, man. Look at that beast. Look at that beast. Holy cow, look at that. Almost 20 and a half right there. Let's see if I can focus it. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's catch another one. Got him. Yep. John, I got another big one. I felt that one. That's a big one right there. Yeah. There we go. That's a big one. Oh, dude, that's another big one. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Oh, no. It popped off. It popped off. <laughs> oh, I should never surface them so soon. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. That's a keeper. She's on the purple. That's a keeper right there. I know for a fact. 15, maybe a little bigger. The middle too. That's a keeper right there on the purple, guys. Yep. 
right there. Yeah, 15 and a half. Let's go, 15 and a half. We'll keep it. Those are the perfect eaters right there. Just gotta find the right color. John, I got one. That's a big one. Oh, dude, that's a big one, bro. That's a big one. Oh my gosh. That's a big one right there. John, John, this is a big one, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Dude, what the freak? My battery just, what the heck happened? But, dude, there we go. What the heck, my GoPro just froze on me. Dude, what the heck? Ah, oh, stupid GoPro. It just freaking froze on me. All right, anyways. Dude, let's go. 18 inches right there. Cleaning the house. 18 and a half. Let's go. Oh yeah. GoPro's known for that, the GoPro 7 at least. It always crashes on me, I don't know why, but I'm working on GoPro 8. Anyways, I caught the fish, let me show you guys. These are the ones we're after right here, boys. Look at that fish. Holy smoke, it's slimy. Just milking. It's just that time of the year, guys. Look at that right there. Beautiful fish. And get the other big guy too. Just look at that, guys. Beautiful walleye to eat right there. Let's go. Anyways, yeah, I, have, I don't know, man. Oh, I'm so mad I didn't get the footage. I'm annoyed, but we're gonna keep fishing out three so far. I got a little guy here. Um, 15 incher, 15 and a half actually. Bumped it, so all males, which is good. Females, gonna go back in. But all male so far, and uh, I'm so geeked out. Stay tuned. Got him. Yep. He's 15 and a half, actually, but we're gonna toss him. Oh. Bro, go. Chill, 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 chill. All right, all right, all right. There you go. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here is I'm filling the bottom, right? It's good to have a sensitive rod. I'm using the Daiwa Kage and a Shimano Stratic. And what I'm doing is I'm filling my sinker go down into these dips, right? Hitting all the the branches, the rocks, everything, just feeling the structure itself. And when I feel my sinker pull into the pool, that's when I really, I let it drift in there and I'll just let it sit. And I'll just slowly twist just like that. You guys can see what I'm doing? See how it's pulling? There it is. That's not the current. It is the current, but it's also a fish. I got another one. <laughs> just like that, guys. Perfect demonstration. John. Just like that, guys. That's what I'm talking about right there. Just let it pull to the bottom and then just dead stick it and just twitch it just like that guys perfect that's a 15 right there yep but we're gonna let it go because they want to keep fishing but that's what you want to do you want to just drop it in there and then go bite it Got one. Hey, John. It's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. That's a nice fish. Well, that's a real nice one. Oh, yeah, this guy will keep. Let's go! That that's what keep right there. Holy cow! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> that's a big one. Yep. Don't be need to measure. Look at 18, 18 inches. Woo! That's what we want right there. All right. So the fifth one is gonna be catch and release only. There we go. Yeah. Put your release. Yep, I'm on, I'm on. Here we go, boys. Working on that. 
Oh, I got fish, bro. You're free to go, buddy. <laughs> or just freeze there. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, you better hurry up, dude. That, that's a nice one. That's a nice one right there. It might be the fifth fish right here for me. Oh, he's killing Drake. Okay. This is a white bass. Oh, yeah, it's digging. Oh, dude, this guy's nice. It's a nice fish. Oh, yeah, it's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah, let's go. And he got some warts on himself. That's all good. Look at that. Look at that fish. Smacked it. That's what I like right there. Oh yeah, almost 18. Nice fish. Wasn't that for Rambo? Like he was like. Anyways, yeah, we're finishing up. We're gonna dispatch the walleyes. Yeah, okay. Call five. John call three. They're all nice eaters. So I got my limit. I got three. And we're gonna head out because we gotta get back in town and get quarantined. So um, yeah, we're gonna dispatch them real quick and then head home. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this like random outing. Uh, me and my brother, we just wanted to come out and have a good time. It's beautiful out. The bite is just gonna turn on. It's gonna be even better. And I'm getting nervous while I'm swinging this. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned and I'll see you guys out in water.